Welcome to bringing you to The Conversation, a program brought to you by the Newport News Police Department's Young Adult Police Commissioners. I'm Olivia Horvath, a sophomore at Warwick High School. And I'm Ethan Taylor, a junior from Mentro High School. Today our special guest is Elijah Brown from Heritage High School, the current YAPC president. Good afternoon, Elijah. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. We have a few questions for you. First, what are the Young Adult Police Commissioners and why did you join? The Young Adult Police Commissioners is a group of teenagers who come from each high school in Newport News. We came together because we wanted to make a change in the community. We wanted to help make it better. And um, we partner up with Newport News Police Department in order to make this happen. The reason I joined was because um, I just want to see a difference. So the Newport News Police Department made um, an opportunity for it and I jumped at the first chance I got. Wow. Now, if you could paint us a picture of what it's like to be a YAPC student, what would you say? A YAPC member is responsible, respectful, um, full of integrity, and is caring and understanding to their peers and other people in the community. Being a member of YAPC, how has that been beneficial to you? Um, so like I said, I um, was in a community where there was a lot of wrongdoing going on. So only time I heard about the police was when they were kicking down my neighbor's door or um, someone got shot. So there was never a positive light shed on to the police officers. Um, so being in this group, I got to see how hardworking the officers was and how hard it is to make a decision within seconds. And um, I got to see firsthand how, you know, Chief Drew plans to run this city and they're not here to um, do any harm, but they're here to do good and help out. Now, outside of school, what does Elijah Brown like to do? Um, for five or six years now, I've been um, studying and practicing and training uh, in martial arts. Um, also, I like to sing. I've been singing since I was an itty bitty kid. Um, my issue is stopping. <laughs> <laughs> How could somebody become a YAPC member? Um, becoming a YAPC member is quite easy. You should have a YAPC member that is going around your school, you know, trying to recruit people to join the group. Um, and if they're not, you will go to your SRO or your SRO would come to you um, and give you a form so therefore you could apply. Um, we have also had SROs who knew a couple of students who they felt would be best suited for this group and have brought them in. So um, once you and your parent go over the form, you will bring it back into your SRO and they will turn the um, form into whoever is in charge of the group at the current moment. And after a month, after all the original YPC members have gotten together, um, the new recruits will come in and have an interview. It is extremely hard not to get into the group, um, so you're, you stand at a good chance with getting in. So Elijah, in YAPC, what, what do you actually do for activities? Um, we get together, we have community walks. Um, for instance, uh, a couple of months ago there was a shooting um, up in Denby, and to show our support, uh, YPC joined with uh, the Newport News Police Department and we went walking through the community to raise awareness on that shooting and to get people to come in and you know call and tell officers what it is that they seem to may have heard. Um, we give speeches at police officer ceremonies for graduation. We have went to the movies. We have uh, worked with or got to talk to the K-9 units and understand their jobs and um, went through one of the simulations that most officers go through, which is shoot or don't shoot. Um, there is a big screen and we are given um, simulation guns and we are put through the test that officers face every day. Done a lot of stuff. We've given forms at school. Um, the police department has come down to our schools and um, gathered together a large group of students in the auditoriums and they've asked questions. Um, That's a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> what, 
Um, so we heard about everything that happens that the members do, but what is the effect in the community? Well, I've got the chance to talk to a couple of people of the community um, after um, community walks or um, youth forums. And some people, honestly, they don't have a change of heart. Um, and some people, they do. Um, I know this lady, I want to say her name is Uganda. And uh, I remember coming home one day after school and she's just chasing me down. She's like, oh my gosh, aren't you uh, one of the YPC members? I'm like, yeah. She's like, I just talked to Chief Drew the other day. She's like, you know what you guys do is so good and I love it. And um, once people see that, they start creating groups of their own. Um, so for instance, I want to say that she started a community watch. When it comes down to the youth forums, Students at my school, um, we have a criminal justice group. So after having um, conversations with the officers and certain YPC members, they start joining groups like that. There's, they start to want to figure out what it is that they can do in their community. Um, so we have groups like SAD or we have groups like the Catalyst Effects who starts to starts to do the same things that we're doing. Um, and they, we have joined up with them and, you know, help share a light on some of the instances or some of the issues that are going on in the community. If you were to try to grow YAPC with your fellow students at your school, what would you say to them to get them to join? A part of joining this group, that's what I thought about. I think about people like uh, Martin Luther King. I think about people like Gandhi. I think of people like... Malcolm X, I think about the people that didn't have to do anything, but chose to because someone has to do it. And they chose to because they just didn't want to be that person that uh, sat around. Um, I remember in school, my teacher gave us a quote in history class. He said, uh, when the Nazis came to take the Jews, I didn't do anything because I didn't want to get killed or I didn't do anything because I was afraid something was gonna to happen to me. When the Nazi came and they grabbed the gays, I didn't do anything because I didn't wanna get killed or I was afraid of something happening to me. When the Nazis came and they grabbed the blacks, I didn't want to do anything because I was afraid of getting killed. But when the Nazis came and grabbed me, there was no one there to back me up. Mm. That always stuck in my head. And I feel as though it's important to help because one day you're going to need that help. And it's hard to say so, but a lot of people think about the things that you've done for them. And frankly, if I'm constantly helping you, Ethan, and you're not helping me, one day I'm just going to say, he's not returning the favor. He's not here when I need him. So why is it that I'm helping him? Well, you made some good points. Thank you. You convinced me to join. Um, so what are some things that members would be able to take away from the group when they become alumni and graduate? Something alumni member would be able to take away is time management um, and to understand which party comes first. You can either, you know, hang out with your friends and miss um, going to work or miss one of these meetings or miss an assignment. Or you can sit here and say, hey, I have a assessments that's due tomorrow at 11 p.m. I need to get on top of it. There was a shooting and Chief Drew really needs my help. He needs me to help bring awareness to this so I can chill with my friends tomorrow. How do other people in your community see you as a YABC member? So you have the good and you have the bad. <laughs> um, honestly, a lot of the good comes from the older people in the community. Um, for instance, uh, my bus driver last year, she seen me on the news giving an interview um, for Wavy News 10, I believe, and um, she was extremely proud of me. My chorus teacher loves the fact that I'm working with Newport News Police Department and she's a future for me. 
and um, criminal justice and law enforcement. Um, but when it comes down to my peers, besides the ones in the group, it becomes a bit risky. Um, I know a lot of officers, my dad is an officer, um, and the kind of school I go to, uh, officers aren't looked at in a positive light. Um, so the fact that I hang out with officers, the fact that, you know, I'm okay with them, that puts me in that negative light. Mm. Um, so, I mean, they just don't like it. And they don't like me for it. Uh, sometimes I get called traitor. Sometimes uh, I get called Uncle Tom and stuff like that. But my thing is I know what it is that I'm doing. I know what it is that I stand for. And I refuse to let, you know, their names, their uh, issues come on to me. I try to explain to them, you know, what it is that we do. Um, but sometimes you just have to learn that you can't change everybody's mind. You can't change everybody's heart. What do the police officers get out of interacting with the youth? Yeah, it helps them, you know, solve problems, things like that. They get to see, you know, how it is to live a life of a teenager from day to day and better understand how to uh, interact with them. So, Elijah, the logo for YAPC is bringing youth to the conversation. What does that mean? Um, bringing youth to the conversation. Chief True uh, used to work in Richmond, Virginia, and... Um, after that, he was brought to Newport News to be the city's, or yeah, the chief of police for the city. Um, and one of the things that he wanted to conquer was bridging the gap between the youth and the police officers. So bringing the youth to the conversation is pretty much the officers spreading out and talking to the youth about the issues that's going on in the community, getting their um, input on things and working with them on um, finding solutions and letting them know that their, their opinions, what it is that they have to say is important to the officers. Well, Olivia, do you have any more questions for Elijah? No, I think that was it. We covered it all. Well, thank you for joining us, Elijah. It's been a pleasure. Uh, please follow the Newport News Police Department on Facebook or on Twitter at Newport News PD for information on the next episode of Bringing the Youth to the Conversation. Thanks for watching. I hope you join us on the next episode of Bringing Youth to the Conversation.